So this next one is literally just Orochi and Snow the duel against uh, whoever Kara Kara is. Nice friendly That's player. Uh, the fine key, yeah. We are going for our replays for some of the matches that we thought were really enjoyable. We played on our climb up to Platinum 1. Uh, and we're just running through our decisions, what we were thinking while we were playing those decks uh, and stuff. And it, that's just like, I find what I've got to play that focusing on being entertaining to the chat and also not messing up your combo is a little bit challenging. So just going over replays, it, it sort of lets, lets us have that level where we can interact with the chat a little bit more and have a conversation. Whilst also like talking about some some fun games. Yeah. So, so you can see from my setup, I've now completely finished solo mode, and this oh, is yeah, where yeah, I was like, is, yeah, <laughs> this was time this to is, take it seriously. <laughs> this is a top top tier, uh, free to play gamer uh, cosmetic. This is like, this is the, the absolute best of the best you could get free to play cosmetics. Even if the Caragiri Barry's uh, barrel is pretty cool, or like some of the other pets. This is this is the end game. This is the reason we played solo mode for this board. <laughs> the like the uh, digital bug base and the monarch uh, graveyard zones and like the big world shield and everything. Yeah. So <clears throat> this deck, there there is no main strategy to it. I guess at its core, it's a sky striker deck, but that's just because engage says draw one. This is just no matter what five cards you draw, your hand is amazing. The deck and you just throw your entire hand at your opponent every single game and hope that they drew at least one unusable card and therefore you win because you have more good cards than they do. So like in the event that an Adagnister player opens like a second copy of the field spell, congratulations, you just won the game, is the, the basic mindset behind this utter monstrosity. So I'm staring down four unknowns and a hand trap, but I've got my Snow and my Orochi. So at this point, I don't care. What, I could what read it. You make it on your opponent's side. In fact, you don't even need to because it's the way your deck works. But, right. Like it can't be Elflick because they've set a monster, and that would be weird because it'd be setting a hand trap, which makes no sense. <laughs> it's... So there's the Ash. First interrupt out of the way. Cool. Engage did its job. Didn't even have three spells anyway. Have the called by. May as well use it. I'm not going to use it on this card. And the goal is to actually play every card. So called by has traded with Ash, means I now have. I was on six to his five, I'm now on five to his four. If you've ever played chess, you know that like once the queens are off the board, if you're up material, you trade pieces. So yeah. I've got four cards of his four cards. This is my extra card. May as well make it work. And I just trades with Soul and Judgment. So cool. Now I've just got four cards to his three. There is no card that generates more advantage than Gizmek Orochi, the Serpent on Sky Slasher. In your opponent's end phase, you can summon him, then on your turn, use his effect to pop a card. He is just a plus two every time you get a draw phase. Pluses and mean a lot less nowadays in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> they don't in a deck like this. You'll notice there's only two cards left on the field. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you've definitely uh, leveraged your opponent out. Uh, actually, for nearly not quite, uh, that was somebody that I used to cast with our uh, actual YCSs, and I really enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed it. I, I miss you too. Uh, but back to the game, yeah, do you want to... So, he plays this, and my immediate thought was, I could use Imperm on it for no reason, other than to just turn off this back row. Because it's 50-50 that it's the back row that he wants it to be. But I was like, nah, let's see like what he does with it. And he just crashes it. And I was like, okay, that's weird. And it's because this thing's double call the Haunted, and he only had one body. Uh, you, can't, uh, you can't play your uh, Imperm now, because... Uh, so... Yeah, you just free Maxi out. It's just, it's whatever, it. it's Maxi. But I've got Orochi, and I'm like, okay, so this is that Utopia deck. He can't kill you through Orochi. It can't happen. So I'm not worried. You can do, like, his double or nothing crap. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to die. So we're going to Imperm that, obviously. It stops him getting the double or nothing, right? And he's got the counter trap anyway. Number protection. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, as far as I'm concerned... This traded for numbers protection, and I've just got Valor, Snow, Rose, and Orochi against Utopia Double. So he sees that it's not game. He just goes for Utopia Ray to set up the two negates. So this guy says, well, it's equipped with something. You can negate a targeting effect. And the equipped guy says, once per turn, negate a targeting effect. It's like this weird silver twin Pegasus thing. So that's whatever. Now, it's his end phase. So just summon Orochi again. Nothing matters. Draw for turn. Now, Orochi 
can banish three from my extra deck to pop, and he'll just negate that. That'll flush one of his two negates, but this thing also halves the attack points of what it negates. So I want to oh, try yeah. and not waste Orochi on having that negate it. But I also have Snow. So Snow is just going to try and do that, and he'll negate it, and cool. And then Orochi can just force the other one. <laughs> like, it, it's just, it is what it is. Orochi just sends three cards from the extra deck I'm not going to use and flush the other negate. And at this point, I can do whatever I want. Oh, is this where you go for access code door brings when? His I'm Utopia sorry, doubles I... a light. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, with this truck. And the game's just over. All of his cards have been negated. Like, all those negates have been okay, flushed. Access code talker. Like, access code talker is such a disgustingly good card. Like, I, I can't say enough phrases about how much I love this card. It's such a chad card. It's basically the All Might of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu Master Duel right now. Somebody in the chat called you Small Might earlier today. <laughs> oh, that must have been Gihan. That was a, that was a joke. Uh, for, for people who don't know me uh, that well in real life, I, I really got into the whole fitness thing uh, for the past couple of years and been really working on uh, working out and stuff like that. And, like... I'm a huge My Hero Academia fan, so a lot, uh, my friends start calling me Small Mike, uh, <laughs> by comparison. It was endearing, yeah. <laughs>